I remember Whoopi Goldberg. All right, so we're looking at fifth or better. No, no. So everything is better, except for that one. If I had had Steve's Quick Mark instead of JR's Chicken Shack, I would have gotten that $500. But unfortunately, I did not. So yes, I am done setting sponsors. We're looking at save game. So $6,400. I have virtually no, no more money than I did before. So that's good. So that's good. That was an, a complete waste of fucking time. But it's all okay. We can go right here into the race calendar. Dual wheel and modified race. Featherlight modified race. Keep forgetting that it's Featherlight. I've been playing too much NASCAR 07. I barely play any NASCAR 2005 anymore. I went... NASCAR 07 for a long fucking time, and then I made the NASCAR 06 review, and then I started pl playing NASCAR 09 in preparation for NASCAR 08. And it's like, you know what? <laughs> NASCAR 2005 had to take the back burner, and that's a damn shame. That's a damn shame, man. Maybe I should play that game for this channel in tandem with NASCAR 08. See, this thing, it, it feels fast. This, this car feels... F oh, yeah, um... You may be wondering about this paint scheme. Um, yeah, I changed the paint scheme around. I got it all purpled out, so it looks kind of like the, um, the dirt car. Um, you may be hearing in my voice. I'm, I'm kind of losing my voice right now, actually. I sound a lot different. All right, so we're going 124 miles an hour in a turn. Engine's running rough. Excuse me. Hang on a second. Did I just blow the engine? Oh shit, did I just blow the engine? Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, that's just great. I just blew the engine. Great job, Adam Petty. Wow! Nice job, Adam Petty. You just blew the engine. We're gonna start dead fucking last. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Actually, not dead fucking last. Wow. If I hadn't fucked up there, if if I'd known, if I if I'd have known to expect that, I might have gotten a top five start. But hopefully the engine doesn't remain destroyed throughout the race, cause that would not be good. That wouldn't be that good. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully that. Hopefully we got it fixed up between things. Here. Looks like we got some speed here. Holy shit, we got some speed for sure. Okay, no, we really don't have speed. We have, this guy's forcing me below the line. That's a that's a douchebag move, bro. You don't do that shit. Okay, I gotta watch the the blinking light. See, I gotta not. Oh shit! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Ah, Jesus! I am really not doing a good job right now. Okay, I gotta watch the light on the right so I don't blow the engine. So yeah, when it starts blinking like that, I gotta slow down. Eh. Uh. Eh. Uh. I can't put my bumper to them because I don't, because I've heard that in this game, if you, um, if you touch tires with someone else, it'll make them blow up really easily, and I set full damage, so that should, so that should happen if I do it. So I'm worried to put the bumper to someone in this series. But I've got, uh, looks like I got some good corner speed here. The problem is that I need a better engine. I need a better red line, I'm thinking. Because I don't want to blow this damn thing. Especially in the middle of a race, that would be some bullshit. I peak at freaking 120. But these guys are probably not peaking at 120, they're probably peaking at 130. And they're running away with it as a result. And I can't, and I can't do anything about it, I mean this is just freaking technological limitations, man. It's just a technological lim limitation. So the engine blew once I hit over 124, but I don't want to push it too much because I don't know how engine blowing in this game works, so I'm just going to try to keep it at 121 or below. Because I don't know how this shit works. Uh, took that corner about as well as I possibly could have, didn't I? Yeah, I really need to increase this engine's red line. I might need to say screw it and get an engine upgrade before beginning the engine upgrade that I actually want. And I'll end up being a war of attrition. Because those are always fun. War of attrition's are always fantastic. 
So maybe. I might have been able to get, like, maybe a top five. I might have been able to block for a top five had I not screwed up and gotten a good starting spot. But I don't know. These guys look pretty fast. I think I'm... I I'm, think I'm... I'm at least keeping up with them. I might not be catching them, but I'm keeping up. And I don't know what this, what that has to do with the downforce, or that just has to do with me playing the game, or them being douchebags and screwing up up there. But I think we're going to get our second straight 7th place finish, which is good. Because this is exactly how I won the championship in the Dirt Racing League, was consistency. Actually, no, it wasn't how I won, it's how I finished third. Consistency got me third. Them winning all the races got them the championship, but me being consistent got me a third place in the thingamajigs. And that's exactly what Jamie McMurray is doing right now. We're five races into the season. He only has one top ten, yet he's nestled safely in seventh place. He'll easily make the chase just like he did last year. Four thousand dollars. That's a that's a good amount of money. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. What a race! Adam Petty had a mixed day. Car number nine thirty seven finished in the middle of the pack, coming in after Jason Couch. Alrighty then. Well, I'm still in seventh in the standings, so that's fantastic. All these people around me having their top fives, and I just keep finishing seventh. So we got. Oh dear. We got some more um, sponsors. Finish 15th or better, finish 17th or better, or nothing. <laughs> well, in that case, uh, I think I want the base reward of 500 if you're asking me here. Larry's. So that one's 10th or better, I got that. 5th or better, I did not get. 12th or better, I did get. Okay, so. So I got everything except for the top five, and that's going to continue happening just like it did in the last season. I mean the first season. In the last series, I should be saying. So yeah, let's take a look at the available upgrades. So I'm full arrow, don't need to worry about that ever. I could get that, I could wait one race and get that. See, it's the waiting game. I always play the goddamn waiting game. Well, you know what? I'm gonna play the waiting game some more. Uh, that's just what I'm gonna do. That is just, oh, I could actually afford this. Now I want, I need power. You can have as good of an aero package as you want, but you need power, all right? So that's the engine. This is the engine that I want, right? Right here. Yeah, this one, this one's what I want. 65,000 smackaroos. Hopefully there is a dirt race before the next wheeling race so that I can get an upgrade before my next wheeling race. So let's save the game. I'm really peppy right now. I'm feeling good. Feeling good, feeling fine. I'm feeling good and feeling fine. That's probably going to change, though, if I do continue recording this at some point. Yes, we have two, two dirt racing races, actually, before then. All right, so, since skipping qualifying went so well, let's not do that this time. So, we need to finish third place or better in a season. You are in fourth place. No, that's okay. That's okay. We'll qualify. We'll qualify. Everything will be nice. I've been to this track before. I know how to wheel my way around this place. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Togo Building Supply. I always say Togo Building Supply whenever I'm watching back. The voice in my head always goes Togo Building Supply. But it's not Togo Building. See, yeah. This car is much looser here. I think my problem in the last races that my car was really really tight through the corner so I couldn't really accelerate that well I mean it accelerated just fine because it's got a great engine but getting through the corners was rough because it wasn't loose enough ah, where am I placed here 18.4 that is infinitely faster than everyone else that's gone out so far so that's probably setting the bar we'll see if anyone can come close it's setting the Roseanne bar and can anyone come close no I'm back to my dominating ways. Damn straight. Adam Petty. Alrighty then. Well, I guess I'm going to have to find something to have a conversation about. If we're going to be doing this. Well, if we're going to be like this, you know. I gotta have a conversation. So, so I was thinking of moving my microphone over. Closer to me. Ah! 
I'm slow to start. No. Is the pressure sensitivity not hard enough right now? Man. I just totally had a Jeff Gordon restart there. Wowzers. That was horrible. Anyway, like I was saying, I was thinking of moving my microphone over to the right. I don't know if that'll help at all. It might. I doubt it, but it might help. But I didn't actually move it yet. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Have I ever raced against this guy? Isn't this guy usually in the B main? Oh! He wrecked himself. Way to put yourself down like that, but you wrecked yourself. She wrecks yourself, shun. Man, the racing line is really low on this track. I mean, I, I'm always on the bottom of every racetrack, but this one's really low. I'm always worried I'm going to nick the inside and end up backwards, because that's exactly what would happen. That is exactly what would happen. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're going to be um, hard-pressed. Hard it's going to be hard-pressed to find some actual competition in this series until we get to one of the races because we get there's a there's one other racetrack because when I did this over again because I forgot to save when I did it over there was only one racetrack that I finished second at and um, I don't remember which one it was but that will probably be the only place that I have a struggle bus situation so uh, that was a good race that was a good race. Now we're in the A main. How's it do the A main?